Welcome to Senior High School Math Series. Let us have rational functions, equations, and inequalities under General Mathematics Quarter 1 Week 2 based on Curriculum Implementation and Learning Management Matrix for K-12's Most Essential Learning Competencies. Here's our learning competency distinguishes among rational function, rational equation, and rational inequality. Before we continue, let us ponder on this. A man has free choice to the extent that he is rational. This is from St. Thomas Aquinas. Okay, let us recall some important concepts about rational expression. It is an expression that has polynomial in the numerator or in the denominator or both. So, rational expressions are mostly written as fraction. For example, we have 2 over x. x squared minus 3x plus 2 over x plus 1. And 5 minus x over x minus 3. Okay, for rational expression, we have some important uh, concepts like simplifying. Simplify the rational expression x cubed minus 64 over x squared minus 16. Just like numerical fraction, rational expression can be written in its simplest form. So when do we say that rational expression are in simplest form? That is when there is no more common factor between the numerator and the denominator. So, so let us simplify this rational expression. The numerator is difference of two cubes, while the denominator is the difference of two squares. So both the numerator and denominator can be factored. <coughs> we have x minus 4 times x squared plus 4x plus 16 in the numerator. While in the denominator, we have x plus 4 times x minus 4. We see that x minus 4 is a common factor between the numerator and the denominator. That can be cancelled because x minus 4 over x minus 4 is equal to 1. So the simplest form is x squared plus 4x plus 16 over x plus 4. Another one, since rational expressions are written in fraction form and it may have variables in the denominator, so there will be instances that the expression will be undefined or meaningless. That is, when the denominator becomes zero. So what value or values of x will make the expression meaningless? 2x minus 5 over 4 minus 3x. So we look at the denominator and look for values of x that will make it equal to 0. When the denominator is 0, the rational expression is meaningless or undefined. So we have 4 minus 3x equals 0. Add 3x to both sides. That will be 4 equals 3x. Divide both sides by 3. We have 4 thirds equals x or x equals 4 thirds. So that means when x is equal to 4 thirds, the rational expression is undefined or meaningless. Okay, let us proceed to our definitions. Let us begin with rational equation. An equation involving <coughs> rational expressions. So when we say an equation, we have the equality symbol relating the left-hand side and the right-hand side as equal. 
a rational equation can be solved for value or values of x that satisfy the equation. So when we are asked to solve for the rational equation, we are asked to find or solve for the values of x that satisfy the equation. And when we do that, we use properties of equations. Let us have some example of rational equation. x squared minus 3x plus 2 over x plus 1 equals 2 over x. So you see that in the left-hand side of the equality symbol is a rational expression. And on the right-hand side of the equality symbol is another rational expression. Another one, we have x minus 3 times x plus 2 over x plus 1, another rational expression, equals 3 over x minus 1. Another example, 10 equals 3 plus x over x minus 1. So from this example, it means that it doesn't have to have rational expressions on both sides of the equality. We have two values being equated. One side is a rational expression. Therefore, this is already a rational equation. Okay, let's proceed to the next. Rational inequality. This is an inequality involving rational expressions. This time we are relating two values using inequality symbols like is less than, is greater than, is less than or equal to, is greater than or equal to. Like rational equation, Rational inequality can be solved for value or values of x that satisfy this statement. So when we are solving for x in rational inequality, we use the different properties of inequality. Examples are 5 over x minus 3 is greater than 0. Another one, we have x squared minus 4 over x plus 1 is less than or equal to 1 over x. Next one, 5 minus 2x over x minus 4 is greater than 1 half. One more, x squared plus 5x plus 1 over x minus 4 is greater than or equal to x over 2 minus x. So we will solve rational inequalities in the next set of lessons. Next definition, we have rational function. A function of the form f of x equals h of x over g of x, where h of x and g of x are polynomial functions and the denominator g of x is not the zero function or you say g of x is not equal to zero again when the denominator is zero it becomes or the rational function becomes undefined let us have some examples of rational function f of x is equal to x plus 5 over x minus 3 or sometimes we may see this as y equals x plus 5 over x minus 3, where f of x is written in terms of x. So this is a function, and we have rational expression on the right side, so this is a rational function. Next example, f of x is equal to 2x squared plus 3x plus 5, over x plus 2. Okay, let us have some practice exercises. So, in the practice exercises, I will give you 15 seconds to answer. And then, after that, we're going to check your answers. You may 
pause the video if you need more time to answer the practice exercises. Determine whether the given is a rational function, a rational equation, a rational inequality, or none of this. Number one, we have 2 plus x over x minus 1 equals a. Number two, we have x is greater than the square root of x plus 2. Number three, we have f of x equals 6 minus x plus 3 over x squared minus 5. Number four, we have 2x is greater than or equal to 7 over x plus 4. Number five, x over 2 is equal to 4 over x plus 9x squared. So 15 seconds, go. Time is up. Let us see the answer. Number one, we have rational equation. Okay, number two, we have an inequality symbol. However, none of the left-hand side and right-hand side is a rational expression. So, none of this. The right-hand side is a radical expression. Number three, we have rational function. And number four, we have rational inequality. Number five, we have rational equation. Let us have another one. Y is equal to 5x cubed minus 2x plus 1. Next, 8 over x minus 8 equals x over 2x minus 1. Square root of x minus 2 equals 4 x minus 1 over x plus 1 equals x squared. And last, g of x equals 7x cubed minus 4 times square root of x plus 1 over x squared plus 3. 15 seconds, go. Okay, let us answer. Number one, none of this. Although this is an equation of y in terms of x, a function, however, none of the right-hand side or the left-hand side of the equi equality symbol is rational expression. Therefore, none of this because this is a polynomial function. Number two, rational equation. Number three, again, there is a radical expression on the left-hand side. None of these. Number four is rational equation. Number five, it is a function, but it's not a rational function because of a term in the numerator minus four square root of x, which is a radical term. Therefore, none of this. That is all for more exercises on this topic. Link is given on the description of this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more math lessons.